Okay, we have this lake here and we have two types of zooplankton. Again, abbreviate to help yourself. Don't try to pronounce these horrible names. Uh, DH, we're gonna call it. DH is, here's the, the surface of the water. DH is all about going down here to the depths. There's, it's cold down here. There's less food. And this is in contrast to DG, which actually stays up here, the surface where it's nice and warm and there's lots of food. So yay, well, life looks great for DG. But then we have something interesting here, this paradox. Yet DH, in terms of population, far out numbers DG. So how is that the case? If they're getting all the food here at the surface, all the nice sunlight, and DH isn't getting anything, how come there's more DH? We have to resolve that paradox. So something must be causing the population of DG to fall. And what is that something? What does that cause? So if you look at answer choice B, predators of zooplankton, such as whitefish and perch, live in fear and feed near the surface of the lake. So you can see that because of this, these fish, that's my best drawing of a fish, are going to eat up from, from, from most of these DG. So at the end of the day, so to speak, there's going to be more DH because they're hiding out here at the bottom. So the answer is B.